Hi beauty, you're welcome to our YouTube channel, Ega Natural Skin Care Academy TV, where we teach you how to make safe, simple, and effective natural and organic skincare products. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a whipped soap using all natural surfactants. If this video interests you, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and share. Alright, so can we start this video tutorial already? So the first thing you want to do is you want to weigh your distilled water. Um, so you'll be weighing out, uh, it's called the eated face. So you have your distilled water. I'm also going to be adding a lantern powder. I'll be adding sodium EDTA to serve as um, um, chelating agent. I'll also be adding um, SCI. So SCI is sodium cocaine isotinate. is a form of anionic surfactant. So that will be one of the ingredients that will be responsible for the um, foaming or laddering ability of this whipped soap. Then I'm also weighing out my oil face. So my oil face, then I will be also be adding um, tetri alcohol and steric acid, which assists in the formability of this product and the, it makes the product more stable. Then I'm also weighing cocoa betaine. Um, so the first two faces, I've, I've already started heating the oils and the water so i'll be i'll continue weighing this while i'll be heating those so the oils and the water are ready and so i'll mix um the oil into the water face and i'll mix together and then um, very shortly i'll blend this mixture so um i'm going to be blending this mixture all right so after blending for a few seconds then I'll add my remaining sulfactants, which are the cocoa betaine and um, SLES and then sodium lauryl sarcosinate. I'll also be using active ingredients, right? So I'll be using the mulberry fruit extract as my main active ingredient. So you can feel free to customize this since it's a, um, it's a pH balanced um with soap yeah also added um citric acid i'm sorry lactic acid all right so um to bring the ph down a bit and then so feel free you can you can you know work this out yourself add the active ingredients you want um i would have added kojic acid too but because it turns brown easily right so i avoided using it so if you're going to be using this maybe in a space of you know few days you can still add um, kojic acid or you can add sodium metabisulfate dissolve it in the distilled water and then add the kojic acid to it so basically um, i don't like wasting my active ingredients in soaps because it's a rinse off product i'd rather use my active ingredients more in um, leave-in products like the creams and lotion so while well, voila we are done very very done so this is how is this product that you can now you know add your exfoliant into if you want to turn it into an exfoliating um, scrub so you just had your exfoliants like your lemon peel powder your orange peel powder your sandalwood powder you know you can just add it into it and then your product is ready so don't forget to add preservative too also um i need to let you know that there are more than one way you can make your whipped soap so if you like me to show you other ways to make your whipped soap either using the um african black soap or the castile liquid soap um so please let me know just leave a comment drop me um, the feedback in the comment section and i will make that for you as well yeah so voila this is my look after um you know cleansing my face with the wood soap so i hope you try yours too all right i'll see you in another video bye for now